guys so i just got my amazon delivery and i want wanted to show you you'll see in my other vlog that i had mentioned that i bought that i had bought um these laundry thingies coming in um but i bought two of them they're finally in <laughs> sorry i'm out of breath i'm so out of breath um i bought two i actually actually accidentally bought two i wasn't thinking um but i'm actually not mad at it because i can have one for upstairs and another one for downstairs um because i we are kind of deciding that we may not use a bassinet downstairs since we have this sleeper swing and sleeper chair um but anyways i bought this um it comes in a bag like this because you can use it for travel so like say you're going somewhere um you can pack it up and put it in here zip it up and it's just perfect to travel um and then i i believe it's versatile so i think you can flip it like there's two different designs but i bought one for upstairs and got one for downstairs and i'm happy it looks so cute i'm gonna open one up just to check it out Ooh, it's kind of a little bit heavy hey so this is the next round of postpartum things i know there's just so much stuff but again this is crunch time and all mamas know towards the end you just want to get everything you can so this in my previous vlog is what i was talking to you guys about um the baby feeding tube um the reason why i'm getting so much stuff to kind of really prep to really like go strong on my breastfeeding journey um is because i had a struggle with breastfeeding my twins um, I didn't produce an, a lot, so I had to supplement. Sorry for my nails. I gotta take these uh, bad boys off. Um, but I struggled. I had to supplement, so I was able to nurse halfway, and then I had to finish them off with a bottle because I didn't produce enough. Um, one of my twins, the youngest one, he gave me five months. Uh, maybe No, he gave me f about four months because once I got COVID, uh, my supply dipped really bad, and then my oldest son and then that's after that he um they don't want to breastfeed anymore and then my older twin he gave me eight good months and towards the end he was just nursing for comfort i wasn't really making much um so i am really going strong on trying to get my breast milk supply up there do everything i can in my power to breastfeed um, so I'm just getting everything to kind of really just help prep and get my body ready. Any tricks and things that I can do to try to breastfeed, I'm going to do that. Um, I'm hoping that I won't have to go this route. And if I don't need to, I can just try to return this or I will gift it to like the hospital or something or a mama who um, might need it. Um, so that's why I got and I like this because it's like by the Hakka brand. Everybody knows Hakka. Um, I just love that it's BPA free, non-toxic, all that jazz. So I'm excited. I just got to figure out where I'm going to put this, but it comes with the tube, comes with the bottle. The other one, you had to kind of buy everything separately. So I'm glad that this comes with an entire set and then I can go back and just get the tube to replace it as I need it. But let's pray and cross our fingers that um, I may not need it. And then this is, I love that there's directions on the side. But this is exactly what I was trying to explain in my previous video. Um, like, you could. Just, this is the attachment. It goes in here. You fill the um, bottle up with the formula. Um, and this is like the flow. But you put it and tape it down. Now, what I liked about this being a bottle is I don't have to, like, hold the syringe. Um, when you have to do it, like, a different kind of way. You can just kind of take this part and just set it down on a table. Set it next to you. But it will still flow out the tube just fine. And then you can adjust the flow uh, through this. So this is pretty decent. Um, if I do struggle, um, I will just kind of get a couple of these. One to keep upstairs, one to keep downstairs, and then I'll just alternate. Now I'm going to have to go back in my other videos and check and see if I put this on the shopping cart. Because for some odd reason, I cannot find this. Um, I thought I bought one by, um, Freedom Mom, but, um, I just can't find it. And even my nipple cream, I can't find that. So, I don't know, maybe I'm losing my mind and I cleaned up and organized everything. So, I just went and bought two Perry bottles so I can get my, um, postpartum stations ready. Uh, I did do a video on it, but I don't think I still have the clip, so I'm going to redo it. But I, um... And I got two 
caddies to organize my postpartum station for moms and a soul. If not, I'll do a video on, on all of that. What I'm buying, what I bought to prep for it. Um, so I'll do a video on that, but I just bought two Perry bottles. One for upstairs, one for downstairs because I'm having a station in both levels of my house. So I don't know how well these will work. This is supposed to be long overnight pads. Um, I thought I couldn't find the one that has like the real heavy flow, but it's supposed to be an overnight pad. Um, I am very TMI sensitive down there and lately using like the always brands of pads and stuff. Just it's a long story. Um, so I'm trying to opt for more of an organic pad for after um, pregnancy for postpartum. So I got these. I'm going to actually open one up to check it out. I believe I did buy this brand once and I did like it mainly just for of what it's made of, the material, how it felt. But I'm not 1000% sure that it held like, you know, leakage and stuff like that. But I'm not too worried about it because of um, I'll be wearing like it depends. So um, it's going to go inside the depends so i'm going to open one up and just check it out but i did buy two of them so i think i'm going to take half this bag and put it in my caddy upstairs and then half this bag and put it in my caddy for downstairs so every level again like i said will have my postpartum um you know essentials for taking care of down there then i got these so i was struggling really really struggling on what to buy for postpartum depends diapers whatever you want to call it for um just the best comfortability and i find it that everybody just kept saying in my mom's groups and moms to be that they liked the depends the most um that they were softer they were more comfortable plus what i like is i'm a plus size woman so i'm gonna need my depends to fit so i was actually very glad that they had a 2x um, and then I'm not seeing that it has a fragrance on it because like what I don't like is um, a lot of these Depends and diapers have fragrances to it which you shouldn't. No one should have perfumes or anything down there unless you're using like essential oils for you know take for healing. They should not have scents on them so um, I don't think that it has that on here. But I just got these mainly because whatever, I know you can take whatever you need from the hospital. But like the last time that I had my twins, I did bleed for an actual while. So I ran out of the stuff that the hospital gave me. Um, so I just need to make sure that this time around, I'm assuming it's going to the same thing's going to happen, whether I go vaginally or not. Um, I just want to be prepared. So I got this and another bag. And again, I'm going to separate them upstairs and downstairs but i'm gonna check out how this feels but even if it's too um like like scratchy down there i know that it'll be accompanied by one of these inside of it as well so i'll be protected all around and again i'll be home most of the time so i think i have pee pads left from my previous pregnancy so i'm gonna like you know just in case god forbid this this doesn't hold things in down there um I'll just sit on a, a pad just in case so I don't ruin like my couch or nothing. That's everything. I'm actually going to open one of the pads up and one of these just to kind of show you guys what we're working with. Hey, so I hope that my camera is not too lopsided, but I wanted to show you guys the, this pad and then I wanted to show you the Depends. So this is the Depends. It actually does feel pretty soft. It doesn't feel like scratchy or uncomfortable um, because you'll see in one of my older videos when i was talking about um when i was trying to conceive the first time around and when i got off birth control i bled like every single day for like two months straight and i just kind of gave up and started wearing like diapers um those were kind of scratchy but um so i didn't like those much but this does not feel anything like the ones that i uh had to use the insides pretty decent um, but the only thing is I can see how like you would want to put a pad on here because I don't think I would want this part rubbing too much. So I kind of want to show you guys this one. Now, just by kind of opening it, this does seem kind of small, um, like thin. It doesn't seem, it's supposed to be extra long overnight. Well, actually, there you go. Ultra thin with pads. 
but um, I'd rather change this a few times than to wear something big and bulky that's going to like irritate my lady bits. So I just kind of want to open one up and see. So I'll sacrifice one for you guys. And if I do like it, I might just buy a couple more. How am I supposed to open this? Alright. Yeah. So they're pretty long. I'm trying to compare the material. Yeah, it's a little bit softer. I am going to see if they have... Um, I'm going to see if they have one that's not ultra thin. But like I said, I've been hunting. I've been hunting. But, I mean, it should hold a decent amount. Like, if I can get most of, like, everything on this, I can just switch this out, switch it out on here. And that's what we're working with. It is soft. I don't smell any fragrance on it. It's extra long. So, it should cover, it should cover a decent amount. Yeah, so it says chlorine-free top layer. Uh, made without dye, synthetic pesticides, and fragrance. So this doesn't have any smell to it. It's hypoallergenic and gentle on the skin, and I have sensitive skin. Um, by the time I got, like, I was in a hospital for four days. Two of those days, I had the catheter in, so I couldn't wear underwears or pads or nothing. So I was bleeding on, they just shoved a whole bunch of, like, mats and stuff down there so I had to just kind of free bleed um and then I used the the pads from the hospital which I will be collecting everything that I can from the hospital this is all just a backup um but then by the time I got home I mean I wasn't bleeding extremely heavy but um by the time so I started wearing pads from day three till I went home which was on a Friday and then when I got home I had to wear pads for like two extra days and by Monday, like, everything was, like, sensitive and swollen and it was kind of itchy. I was uncomfortable because I had ran out of the hospital pads and I used the always overnight pads. And I was just irritated. Like, everything just felt raw and irritated down there. So I'm just looking for more comfort. So if that means this is comfortable, I can catch what I can on here. And then obviously have the diaper for backup. I'll be okay as long as everything down there because obviously if I get vaginal birth get get a vaginal birth I don't want anything that's going to cause more irritation because I'm already going to be sore I'm already going to be hurting so you know I just figured I show you for those moms who have sensitive skin and who kind of want to stick to the or more organic route which this is the way to go because it's 100 percent cotton so if you just don't mind like even if you're a heavy bleeder kind of having to change just a little more often um go for it i am gonna see again if they have more stuff a little bit more thicker but you know if i use up all the hospital stuff maybe i will cross my fingers that the blood has lightened up before um like the blood has lightened up to where i won't have to change this as often but again that's what the diaper's for so even if you do leak it's gonna catch it and then again i'm going to check and see if i have pee pads um for protecting like your furniture um and then i'll just kind of sit on one of those and then i wear i bought a lot of darker clothes more comfortable clothes for postpartum so none of my clothes will get ruined but yeah i just kind of want to show you here's a close-up definitely feels very soft um the wings will stick onto your diaper just fine it's definitely very very sticky so it should be secure in there and then even if you do want to like you know put one here and then kind of like layer it too just in case you know you have more even more protection so there you have it so sacrificed one i'm actually gonna try to see if i can fold this back in here and kind of use it for tomorrow um because i have hit that stage where i'm leaking when I laugh, cry, um, sneeze, jump, move. So I've reached that stage in my pregnancy where it's even worse. And my bladder still never fully recovered from my first pregnancy. So there you have it, you guys. And I'm telling you, mamas, for those who are plus size, this seems to stretch pretty, pretty far. So you'll have room.
lots of room and it's soft. I like that it's really soft. All right. <laughs> Thank you.